much harder than it sounds I know it's closing if I just stand still Cause you won't wait forever So just hit me up It is not like I don't want you Just scared to try Even if the odds are in my favor I just need more time So if you wait just a little bit longer I will treat you right Treat you right, yeah So as I say you I know it's never Okay, I actually tried the CPU once again on the Z790 Dark Kimpin as well as on the Z690 Dark Kimpin and uh, it's doing exactly the same thing. So what I experienced with the G7400 is uh, an FLL bug somewhere after 175 BCLK. It's somewhere, it definitely starts at around like 175. So what happens is we even post and boot higher clock speed, that means both the base clock and the uh, overall clock speed. But uh, the actual performance is not at that level. So, for example, I could see even 6.9 GHz in CPU Z while running GPU Pi 1 billion, like almost 6.9, like 6.88. But the actual performance is somewhere around like 6.3, 6.4 maybe 6.4 because our performance was 4 minutes and 27 seconds and that's a rank 4 score right after uh, Loud Silence, Splave and Zergman from Germany and a bit better than uh, Dr. Antoine from uh, France. Why Cruncher 1 billion? I did pretty good result on the Apex Encore. I think it's uh, maybe rank 3 or rank 4, I don't remember, but it was uh, like 49. Point, uh, 5 or 49.7 seconds, something like this. So it's definitely a good result. The white crunch of 1 billion was definitely a good result. And at least this CPU, it has very annoying IMC related issue and it's worse on the EVGA boards compared to the Apex Encore. So uh, like on Apex Encore, I usually walled on both of the G7400s I have at around 7500. 7400, 7500. With the Dark Kimpin, I can only run like 7200, 7300 stable. But it's even more picky here with the timings. So I actually ended up using my last liters of LN2 with some MDI because I just wanted to play it safe, see what happens. But uh, I was mainly testing the FLL bug. Does it happen exactly the same here as on the Apex Encore? And it does. So uh, my bet is that this is a CPU limitation thing. So one CPU will start like uh, walling at a different level compared to other CPU. I don't think it's a motherboard related thing, but at least I saw like Dr. Antoine ending up somewhere very close to me. But I really think it's a CPU related thing, not really a motherboard related thing that you could actually uh, improve this with a, uh, with a motherboard, but I'm not like 100% sure. 7-zip, I think I'm right uh, right after Dr. Antoine, he got like 33,900, I got 33,500 or 600, something like this. So maybe I'm like rank 4, rank 5, something like this. I think I'm like rank, rank 4 maybe. So those are mainly the results. So uh, need to try a bit more later. Like uh, I really, I think my best bet is on the white runs of 1 billion. I need to double check again the other CPU, the newer one that I have, because that one I actually uh, 
didn't really overclock. I went back to the old CPU because I forgot how to uh, run these locked older leg CPUs on LN2. I actually forgot, uh, forgot about it, so I need to rerun the new CPU once again and I will do it later once I get more LN2 as I'm currently out of liquid nitrogen and I will for sure use the Apex Encore because the end result was the best out of these three motherboards at least for now but it was definitely buggy on all of these uh, boards so pretty all right but I'm still hoping I could take down the top scores but of course it's not easy as guys like loud silence splayed they have heavily binned chips both from intel and from asrock but we'll see what happens so that's pretty much the end for this video with the g7400 please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and maybe check out my patreon page as well if you want to support my work and yeah thanks for watching some of my videos once again and i will see you on the next one